Market took a nice beating, just kind of hanging out around seven. The hearing today, um, SEC. Well, it wasn't terrible, in my opinion. ICOs are the ones that are going to be targeted after the most. Really going to crack down on ICOs. Not sure how that's going to play out in the future. Definitely going to be wary moving into the future, making sure that the ICOs I pick. Are going to be um, just really trying to pl see what happens, right? Because they've been huffing and puffing, and now we're about to see. Because they said zero ICOs have come to them um, to be licensed and regulated, so we're going to see what's going to happen. It's not terrible. It's not a, the worst idea, really. What ICOs have been doing anyway is just cutting out the USA altogether, right? You say if you're from the USA, you can't invest. So. It would be interesting to get regulation so then we could, you know, USA could be added again. So people from the USA can actually invest. And one of the things that I noticed was, see, there's two different things. Bitcoin is an experiment, right? You have all these other cryptos, but yet they're trying to regulate everything by it, seems, it sounds like they're trying to regulate the whole ecosystem based on what bitcoin is because one guy was like well bitcoin isn't a currency because no one uses it even the bitcoin conference stopped accepting bitcoin yada 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 he's like it's more of a store of value um, a commodity and they really didn't know where to place it but then you have other cryptos that are currencies and then you have other current um, cryptos that are, are operating systems that are more of a platforms to be, you know, like a Windows. What would you classify Windows as, right? Like, it's just, it's interesting because there's so many different cryptocurrencies that do so many different things. Hell, you can have cryptos that are backed by commodities, you know? I mean, and we're starting to see that. Backed by food, backed by energy. It's a big market. It's interesting what's going to happen. It's a very caveman approach right now. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing like the, the, the big 100 pound elephant actually move, which is the government, the USA. And a lot of people, you know, what the USA does, a lot of other countries will follow suit. And to be honest with you, it wasn't terrible. It was a bunch of old people that didn't really know much about crypto um, talking in a room. And they all basically came to the same conclusion they didn't really know. It was leaning towards a commodity, but even the guys said, "When you know, they're talking about Bitcoin. We're talking about regulate Bitcoin. They always, Bitcoin's an experiment. It's a human experiment. It's something that's completely different. It's, it's amazing what it is. There's cryptos like Civic. You shouldn't lump it in the same thing as Bitcoin. Civic's a service. And Bitcoin is this whole new monetary system run by math. It's trustless, and the whole world can tap in and use it. And who knows what the future can bring, you know, if they were to enable the op codes. And that's one of the things. It's it's weird because Bitcoin is king right now. And a lot of people, a lot of haters want to bring it down. Even if there were mempool attacks, whatever you want to say. Um, the high fees and the bad publicity that a lot of people brought. What was once a good, fun culture to be a part of. It still is, don't get me wrong. Still a lot of great people. But we see a lot of unnecessary hate. And that's not good because Bitcoin's... It's kind of like Bitcoin's like the kingpin going into going into court. And you don't want to make the guy look bad. You don't want to make the coin look bad. Why would you? It's representing the rest of us right now. It's been around the longest. It's, it's a shame that that's how it should be. And Ethereum was mentioned. But, you know, they didn't really get deep into it. But, you know, they mentioned, you know, the things that the bad things about Bitcoin, how a lot of merchants weren't using it. What is it actually being used for? Yada, yada, yada. Um, so it's it's very interesting dilemma that we're in. I'm interested in seeing what happened. All of this is kind of, you know, I bring all this up. I really don't care what they say. I'm tired of this. I think that as a society, as a species, 
we're going to evolve and do what we want to do regardless. We've gotten to the point the internet has done that. We can connect. And with connection comes power. If a decentralized exchange comes on and really becomes big, that's all that is needed. There's decentralized exchanges out there, but all that is needed is one to get really big, right? If once BitShare, something really takes off, and gets the volume that's needed. What's BitShares association? So 35 million. Once that becomes a billion, then we're playing ball. Then we're playing, you know, then it's really the game on. It's going to be a tipping point where everyone uses it like a Binance. And yet it can't be regulated. It can't be shut down. Then, then the government's really going to understand what, what it's in for. I'm sure some of them have to understand. I mean, they're not idiots. But what can really happen with something that you can't control and then it becomes a trust system, they're going to find a way. Obviously, they just want to get paid. They're going to find a way. But it's going to be interesting and it's going to be radical. And I don't think they're going to figure it out right away like they haven't figured out cryptocurrency. What they're just, this is old news. They're trying to regulate the old news. Once we tip, once crypto really flexes its muscle and says, hey, bitch, this is what I'm about. The government's going to have, you know, uh, societies everywhere. It's going to be a, re it's going to be a revolution. It's going to be change everything. Once these big ex decentralized exchanges and more and more, um, it's funny. I'll get into the stock market crash for a second. The fact is when the stock market crashes, like it does, it's not good for crypto because people are losing money and they don't have as much money to invest. Now, when the stock market was going down because people were investing in crypto, that was good because people were taking their money out at a profit and putting it into crypto. But when the market crashes and the, the big guys who, you know, we don't, they're not really on Bitcoin crypto side anyway, are doing what they're doing with these steep, just coordinated dumps, then people get wrecked and they don't have as much money to invest so what was happening was people were just taking off, siphoning off their profits, putting it into gold and silver or cryptos, mostly cryptos. And then we had this horrible stock market crash causing the crypto crash. A lot of people got wrecked recently, only if they sold for a loss. But who are we kidding? We know a lot of them sold for a loss. And that's kind of where we're at right now. And it's kind of different when the markets crash as fast as they do. When this goes up and down, it's not necessarily coordinated to, to, to real flow. Right, because first of all, when all right, let's say Bitcoin gets some bad news, the buy orders are taken out, a few of them, and then you know the sell orders push down, and then the next buy is at five thousand or fifty five hundred. Well, the Bitcoin just dropped a lot, but it wasn't so much that it, it burned through a bunch of buy orders. Right, a lot of those can just be disappeared, and when that happens, the whole market cap because everything's in Bitcoin. Right, this is Bitcoin's back. This is the the. The overall world of money comes down to Bitcoin when you're talking about cryptos. Like the USD is the reserve of the world, which might not be, you know, I'm not going to get into that right now, but might not be going into the future. So it takes, it, 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 it take, the whole market takes a whole big hit because all of these market caps go down 10% when Bitcoin goes down 10%, causing these radical market cap shifts. And people can't handle those numbers. A lot of them do so. Um, and, See, I think going into the future, a lot of these backed ones are going to be backed by USD of some point, some kind of USD pair, some kind of fiat pair, whether it be like a bit USD or actual dollars. I think going radically into the future as cryptos become more and more regulated and more and more accepted, you're going to start to see these fiat pairs for almost every coin. Thus, when Bitcoin goes down, it's not going to necessarily, you know, everything's not going to necessarily have to, you know, be tied to Bitcoin like it is now because you know bitcoin goes down bitcoin's a whole different thing like i'm saying it's a monetary system it's experiment the biggest experiment in human history no one's ever done something as radical as this with bitcoin and it's amazing it's the biggest it's the strongest blockchain yeah so but you also have a lot of these things that are completely different that's all i'm saying like steam like they're regulating all of these things they're, they're it's just very it's very a cave like approach right now it's very like antiquated there you go it's a big word i honestly think bitcoin should have raised the blocks i already said that before um the fees really the whole shit storm and the fees being high everyone did everything they could to just destroy bitcoin when it came down to it 
Um, I think there was a bunch of coordinated mempool attacks. I think there was a bunch of shit going on. And I don't know. Hopefully people learned that we're still not there yet. We have to be humble. Uh, I, uh, I set the timer for 10 minutes because I've been going over too too long. If I want to be doing these videos, you know, five days a week or whatever, I have to pace myself out. I find myself going for 20 minutes. Um, but I'll go ahead and kill it here. Talking about going to Venice Beach on the 11th. I'm going to be there. The legend Crypto Daily is going to be there. Should be lots of fun. It's going to be a meetup in LA, Venice Beach. More to come. Check out iChat Crypto. Um, you know, I'm not a, I'm not an entertainment, enter, I'm not an entertainment advisor, but I can guarantee you're going to have some fun. So yeah, cheers, peace.